Vegas. What's up Tangerines? If you are new to our channel, my name is Maddie. I'm Jordan. And we are Tangerine Travels. Typically, normally on a normal day, we would be in Mexico where we're living, where we've been living for the past year. But our three year anniversary and our birthdays have taken us to Las Vegas. now or we you are just getting into our room at the Mirage now <laughs> um, we used our my Vegas points to do this so the room is free except for uh, resort, fees. resort fees yes and we asked if they had any complimentary upgrades available and I think since we told the guy that it's our three-year anniversary he might have pulled some strings for us because this view is amazing I don't know how well you can see this but we can see pretty much everything. The there's, link, the high roller. There's gonna be a volcano show down, down there. Here. Palazzo, Every night. Venetian, Wynn, Encore, Treasure Island, and we can see the side of the Mirage. Amazing. And this room is awesome. It's two queen or two king no, two queen beds, even though we had one queen. No. I'm saying this all backwards. Two queen beds, even though we had one king, but I'm not complaining at all. It is awesome! I'm stuck. What are we gonna go do now? Nothing, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so we should fill everyone in. We have been here for... Four nights. Four nights at the West Gate. All right, let's test it out. This one's for you. <laughs> I just sunk into it. It's so comfortable. Ah. <laughs> we just checked into the Mirage today. We haven't been doing that much vlogging up to this point because Jordan's dad has been in town, some of my family has been in town, and we've been trying to coordinate with everyone. Um, and to be honest, being at Westgate, which was kind of off the strip, there was like a little bit of commute time on the monorail and all that but now we are kind of on our own doing our thing we're loose in las vegas watch out las vegas <laughs> so since we've been in mexico for a year we really haven't done much in the way of online shopping because amazon prime and amazon exists but it's not in the same way that you have in the u.s where it's so easy in less than a day or two days you can get anything you want so we bought like everything <laughs> literally everything on Amazon that we hadn't had in like a year um, we had it delivered to post offices to Amazon lockers to Jordan's dad who drove it down from Missouri to everywhere and now anything that we forgot we were delivering to an Amazon locker so we're actually going on the monorail now to an Amazon locker to pick up a last few things for some shenanigans that might be happening tonight. We're such a hot mess. Which you may or may not be seeing, but <laughs> 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 who knew online shopping would be such a novelty? I never thought, I never would have thought that. It's kind of fun after you haven't done it for a year. Well, and, and we didn't have a Christmas or birthdays or anything, so like opening up our, our boxes is like, Christmas like morning. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and before we really dive into this, we're not used to vlogging around so many people. So if it's awkward, if we're being awkward, please bear with us. <laughs> I don't think this is awkward at all yet though, just because there's so many distractions here. Yeah. We're the least of everyone's worries. And no no one's really noticing yet, but I still feel like this is a lot of people to be around with a camera. <laughs> So one of the cool things we figured out about taking the monorail actually though, is that you have this great view of the Link High, high roller. roller. And we took this once, we did the unlimited bar, like get as many drinks as you want while you're on there. And we really underestimated how many drinks you can actually get while you're on there. And they, they're like, no, you're, you have an empty drink in your hand, you're drinking more. You will not walk away from here not plastered. <laughs> it was a good time. 
So from this stop, the convention center from the monorail, you can see this side of the strip, Westgate, Stratosphere right there, a uh, bunch of other random ones that I'm not actually sure of, and Jordan leaving me. Jordan! And that something you may or may not see later may or may not involve a bikini. Which is what we're picking up. I had actually ordered one and it was poorly manufactured. So as soon as we get past this 45 minute long building called the Las Vegas Convention Center, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's like 10 minutes, but it feels like forever. <laughs> then we're going to this Amazon locker. So if you need something sent to Las Vegas, all you have to do is take the monorail, get off at the convention center, walk 45 miles, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to the 7-Eleven. Why would you be getting a bikini if it's so cold out? We're not going to be outside. We found in and out We had to go. This might be some of the most affordable food on the strip. We, I got a double-double, she got a hamburger, and we got fries, all for about 10 bucks. And we got this protein style, so it's no bun, just lettuce, because we're cutting back on the carbs. <laughs> I actually think this is my first time trying in and out burgers. Did you eat some paper? Yeah, you definitely ate some paper. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. It tastes very fibery. Like, you know, if you imagine eating a newspaper or something, that's kind of how it just tasted. <laughs> Okay, peel the paper back and try again. <laughs> it looks like it's part of this, though. <laughs> and there's a lot, of, a lot of lettuce. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Vegas, we typically don't gamble. What we do is play jacks or better video poker and we figure out the strategy. We practice and practice and practice so that it's... Basically with playing on the best machines, with perfect strategy, over time you'll hardly lose anything. But this time, it's not been favorable for us, so we decided to play like penny machines. And uh -huh. one time Jordan was taking his dad out to the parking garage and I decided to sit down at a random machine. I was playing a penny machine, 50 cents at a time, and I won $580. Which that helped to make up for our crappy luck at video poker. And also that's the most I've ever won ever. And now we're sitting in front of this spinner wheel, random, I don't even know, wild, wild, wild spinner wheel, which I'm a little bit sad about because I like the ones that go around. This has a little hand that spins stationary, if that makes sense. But anyway, somehow I won my second biggest jackpot of my life. We won! $250! <laughs> so, kind of amazing, it's been a turnaround. Maddie was getting a new players club at another casino. Players and card. Players card. And <laughs> while that was happening, I found this $5 chip on the ground from another casino, and it's from Palazzo. And since that's one of the few casinos we've never been in, we're going there now to cash it in. We've been going to Vegas like pretty much once a month since we were living in Phoenix because we play My Vegas, which we talked about before this. <laughs> yeah, in addition to that, there's a whole bunch of other ways that we get very cheap trips here. But anyway, we've been to just about every casino uh, and stayed at just about every hotel on the Strip, except for we've never been in Palazzo for some reason. So with this $5 chip, <laughs> we are going in here now. <laughs> That's our excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Oh, this is win esque not win, what am I saying? Bellagio-esque. Bellagio Do you know what this is supposed to be themed like? 
Chinese, it looks like. I don't know. I don't know. They do have you. Oh, the you're pig the pig, decorative. yeah. doesn't know the way to the crack. It does. It just it just wants you to go a very a very like bizarre. Just turn over here, turn over here, turn over there. And I get it, but I'm not getting it. You, know? <laughs> you will save three seconds if you make these Possibly, turns. possibly. It says that to us when we're driving in Mexico all the time, like save two minutes if you go this way and then it adds fifteen minutes to right, your drive, the whole drive every right. single time. <laughs> and you're like how did this how did this really help me out at all? And I, I fell for it again. <laughs> So we honestly intended to do way more for this video, but as it turns out, there's lots of copywritten music all over Vegas. There's rules about being inside the casino. And plus and we were preoccupied. We were preoccupied with like lots of tequila. And <laughs> lots of tequila. <laughs> and if I'm being honest, we really needed more of a break than we thought we did from vlogging, from YouTube. Just a bit of a vacation. Yeah, like, like we really needed a vacation. We haven't really taken any time off from videoing. 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 We don't have a better word for that by now. <laughs> Vlogging, I guess you could say, but anyway, for over a year. So we've been going kind of nonstop. Why are you in such a hurry right now? Oh. Why are we in such a hurry? Breathing fast, and we're heading out to the strip because there's like a NASCAR race. Not, not, not race, there, a parade, there is, a there's parade. There's a race in town, but they're like welcoming them to the city, I guess, with a parade down Las Vegas Boulevard, so the main road. At this point, it seems like police cars, and I we thought it was like, I thought it was like a train. It was semis honking, <laughs> they're big ass horns. Yeah. <laughs> so if it seems like we're out of breath and stuff, that well, is why. The parade's over. Um, so we saw the beginning of the parade. From our room. From our room at, at the Mirage, we, we rushed ran. Out here. We ran down the hall, we ran through the casino, <laughs> and we ran here. And no five minutes and 27 seconds later, exactly. it's over. That's Vegas. <laughs> Everything happens fast. Uh, we forgot to mention, I did do bikini bull riding at Treasure Island. When I, fist, I ended up getting third place. <laughs> it was terrifying. I don't think I'm ever doing that again. But it was an interesting experience. I was sore for three days, and uh, that's that. <laughs> We're in Wynn. This place is amazing. It's like a floral theme with all these fresh flowers up here, and then all over the ground are these colorful tiles. These tiny tiles made to look like these giant flowers. I imagine it took forever to construct. Forever. Floor ever. To oh, and that's that like a floor. triple pun because if you speak Spanish, you know that flor means flower, and I'm also talking about the floor. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back in Mexico now, and we have some cool trips coming up. Before we leave the Yucatan Peninsula, there's some places we want to visit. So we have booked to Valladolid, Tulum, Bacalar, and Mahahual. You may not have heard of some of those places, but trust me, they're all amazing. So we have awesome videos coming up for you. And if you want to see those videos to all these places that we have booked, please subscribe to our channel. Give this video the old thumbs up if you liked it. And gong that bell so you get notified the next time we put out a new video. And we will see you there.